Like I said, last time my downfall was growing my town too big and not having enough food and water. And I don't want that to happen. And let's see, I'm going to take a builder out. Let's see. I need somebody to work the pump is what I need. Take one more out. Okay, so now... Okay, I don't have any work in the Forester yet. And speaking of the Forester, I'm going to need to... Oh, I should, uh... Let's see, I'm going to need a couple of beavers chopping wood down here. So... Let's put... You know what? Right over here would be a good place to do the chopping wood jobs. Thing is, I need it to extend all the way up here. So, like, if I were to put this here, you can see... It wouldn't reach to all those spots. There we go. Even that won't reach to the far end where I need it to be. This one here would get all of it. You know, I'm going to need to... Just delete a couple things there. All right. And then we'll put up a couple of timber flags right there. Okay, we're still chopping those up. That's fine. We've got three babies on the way. Great news. Still nobody working the Forester. Still nobody working the pump. What is going on? You know what I need to do? Is just, uh... Take one of you out. And you know what? I don't need berry farming right now either. There we go. Now I think that we've properly reassigned some people. I don't have enough people for the lumber flags at the moment, but that's okay. Now I've got somebody in the Forester. And I've got somebody in the pump. There we go. That's good. All right, and yep, looks like, okay, we have lodging for 21 uh, beavers. We only have 15 at the moment, though. Okay, so we've got plenty of growth. And why am I missing a little bit of carrot right there? There we go. Get that carrot. There we go. Our tracks of carrots are large. We've got lots of room for carrots here. And okay, my planks are coming along real well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build one more lumber mill because eventually I'll need more lumber. There we go. I'm just future-proofing at the moment. And the cool thing about the power is if one building is hooked up to power and then another building is built next to that building, the power will bridge. But this is creating 180 horsepower. Each of these buildings will take 150. Or we'll take 50. So, eventually I'll need to build another water wheel. Any big plans for Stumpmas? You know, we've got our meeting to discuss Stumpmas next week. Um, but we're, we're doing all of our planning next week. But suffice to say, yeah, we got plans. Oh boy, we got plans. And we've got a lot of carrots growing here. Eventually, I'll probably want a third house here. Because I want to take a, advantage of as much of this green land as possible to grow carrots. Um, up here, we'll grow carrots. Like I said, this is going to be our industrial area. I've got plans for this area here. But um, these areas up here, carrot, carrot, carrot central. Uh, we've got 80 science. Okay, so after we build the, um, the plank shops the lumber mills, the next thing we're going to need is the gear workshop. I need 100 science in order to unlock that, so I need to just wait for this to get up to 100 science. And then we'll get that going. Going to be interesting. It'll be my first working stump miss. Yeah, we've got a bunch of new mods. A bunch of amazing new mods. It's going to be it's gonna be great. Um, okay. So only at 16 out of 21. And how's my storage doing? Okay, 71 out of 200. We still got plenty of room in storage. Eventually, though, I'm going to need more storage. We're going to need more. And remember how I said this is temporary? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move this too. I'm going to end up moving this thing around a lot, honestly. Uh, I'm going to move it up here for now. And I'm actually going to... I'll wait till this new one's built, but I'm going to tear this down and build another storage next door to this storage. Because even though we are only at 107, it's going to fill up with these carrots real fast. So I'm going to need more storage. And we may as well get on that now. You can see my foresters over here planting the trees. There he goes. He's all alone, though. So it's going to take him a while. 
It kind of stinks that only one forester works within the forester hut. I wish it were more like the farmhouse where you can have two work. Because it does take a while to plant trees. But then again, it takes a while for these trees to grow. So, there you go. This will be my first live stump mist stream that I catch. Yeah, you know, I'm... <sighs> I'm so excited that our channel is still growing the way it is, you know? Uh, we just hit 500,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is amazing. We have a lot of people saying, you should have so many more, and that's super sweet. But, I mean, we're just so happy to have reached the half a million mark. But, I mean, it's just it's a testament to the fact that we are still growing, and we're fortunate for that. We've still got a lot of new faces, especially, um, you know, it's kind of a silver lining, if there is one, to uh, the pandemic, is that a lot of people had time to find something to distract themselves online. And so we had a lot of new people finding their way to our community, and it's it's been awesome. Uh, I remember when Stumpy was only 200,000. Yeah, we were, you know, we got a huge bump at the start, but then, you know, it was just slow and steady growth from there on out. Uh, okay, so, you know... No, it's fine. I was going to extend the carrots, but we got plenty of carrots. We don't need to extend any. Water, we're at 170 stored. Okay. Um, planks, we're at 40. You know what I'm going to do is, while we're waiting for things to grow a little bit, I'm going to make a area for our next uh, pump. Not that we need it right away. And then I'm going to put this area here so we can start to extend our water storage a little bit too. And, yeah, once we start growing trees and harvesting them, then wood is never going to be a problem anymore. Not that it's really been a problem yet, but it won't be. And, okay, I don't have anybody in, unemployed at the moment. Looks like everybody's working. But the berries are growing back, and I am going to have people who can pick berries again. So I'm going to go ahead and reestablish this berry post. We can start picking berries again. Okay, they already built that. They're building this. And so something that took me a while is if you build these platforms, you still need to put the uh, pathways on them. Otherwise, they won't use them as pathways. Oh, and something else I wanted to do. Oh, yes. We want to start damming the river. All right. Dams are kind of expensive. They cost 20 logs each. But I want to dam off this part so that uh, when the next route comes... We will retain water. And I think what I'm going to do is make the dam right across here. What's nice about the dams is that they can also work as bridges. So there we go. I'm going to put a dam here. And that's seven there, which is going to cost... Uh, what is that? Uh, 140 wood? 140 logs? So that's going to keep our uh, beavers pretty busy. But they'll get the job done. And then what I can do is just make a path going from up here right down here. Perfect. 140 logs on the wall. It's going to be great. So when the river dries up, basically from this area all the way to our dam will retain water. Which means that all of our crops for the most part are going to stay hydrated during the droughts. So long as we don't pump any water, we should be able to retain the water in this river and really prevent our uh, our vegetables and our, our food source from drying up and dying. And then eventually we'll want to just like move the dam even farther out. Once we get like a plethora of logs, build big dams, dam up huge portions of the river. But for now, this is a really good start. Oh, and speaking of, we got three days until drought. We may or may not be able to complete this uh, by the time the drought comes. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of beavers to the job, though. And, uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to pause this job just so we can switch these beavers on over to working as builders to get this done faster. Chikik, thank you for your 20 month resub, you guys. Drop some bears for Chikik. Okay, we got two out of the seven built. There we go. But we got four little beaver hands on the job. So hopefully we can get this done. It'll be close, but we may be able to get it done in time. 
and Mist Bell. Thank you for that four month resub. Okay, we can uh, do a couple other things too. Not by the time the drought comes, but we've got the area here to build more storage, water storage. And I will want to unlock the large water tanks, but it costs gears to build these. So we don't need to unlock that until we actually get our gear shop. We need to unlock the gear shop first. We have enough to do that. There we go. I'm not going to build this just yet because the drought's going to come. We won't have power, but we are going to build our gear shops next to these here. That's the plan. Okay, so they're slowly but surely trying to build this dam. Come on, guys. You can do it. And then I'm going to extend the path out here. Building takes a while in this game because... Especially when it takes a lot of resources. Okay, but they're 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 doing it. They're hauling butt. They're trying to get it done. They they know the urgency. Get a close up of the dam there. There we go. So the dam's nice because it lets water pass up to a point. You can see it passes underneath the bridge. But it'll just dam up the water like that. And there's a bunch of different dams that you can unlock. Floodgates and double floodgates and triple floodgates and all this stuff. Eventually, we're going to have explosives factories and we can create dynamite. And that's how you destroy the environments with that dynamite. And there's a lot of fun in that. Okay. Half a day left. Come on, everybody. We're so close. Do we think that we'll be able to make it? Fingers are crossed. Let's go. There's 19 out of 20 there. We got two more to go. Come on, little guys. What are you guys doing? How much food do we have? We have 466 food and 209, 210 water. Okay. Our waters are are tapped out at 210. That's the max amount of water that we can store. Oh my gosh, we might be just one wall short. Come on, guys. Even if we can't stop the water, we have enough food and resources. It's just a matter of saving the uh, the crops. We're going to have to replant those. The fact that they're going to sleep means that we're going to lose the water. Oh, well. That's fine. The next drought we'll be prepared for. Drought started. Okay, come on. There's still a little bit of time as the river dries up. Oh, no. It is slowly draining from here because we do have it dammed up a little bit. But I think we're going to lose the water. And it's going to be a 3.6 day drought. And we have three unemployed. Oh, you know what I need to do is stop pumping the water. There we go. There we go. Ah, it dried up. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. We've got enough resources. We've properly planned for this. And they'll keep building this, so, you know, next time we'll be prepared. Okay, so we are maxed out on our population. As far as jobs go, let's see. Um, we've got six unemployed. We've got uh, four jobs. So once we put the people back to work there, we will have two people that need jobs. So what do we want to do? I'm probably going to do one more farmhouse because... Uh, build it next to this one. Because we want to expand the farms and we want uh, more beavers to be able to help with that so let's see do the old delete and we'll just make a space for the new house oh you know I actually need to delete one more spot for the path there we go and farm there we go cool all right And then once, uh, we're going to need to remove these uh, blueberries. That's that's the only catch there. Is that the blueberries will need to get pulled. So that we can make way for carrots. 
All right. I don't want to delete the blueberries that can still be harvested, though, because that's good food. So let's just get the stuff that has already been harvested. There we go. Okay. Pick all those. Water physics. Wow, incredible. Yeah, you know, the game is pretty great. You know? It, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, you can see this lake still remains. That will eventually dry up. You know? But when the drought comes, it basically shuts off the tap. The river stops running. But... If we build the dam, the river won't run. We won't be able to use uh, our power during a drought because technically the river's not running. But we will be able to contain the water. Will there be pricier channel point items? You have quite a bit saved up right now. You know, we need to have a discussion about that. I don't think we have any plans for that. But um, something that we should consider for sure. Okay, so let's see. I have some wooden stuff. Actually, I don't have a lot of logs saved up. I was going to say. I don't have a lot of logs saved up at all because we don't have a lot of trees to cut down, quite honestly. It's all sort of relying on these trees to grow. But while we're waiting for that, where else can I... I can actually start to farm these over here. Because now the dam is done. And I can create a path. Okay. Let's put a couple of uh, logging flags here. And put it in order to... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Um, put in order to chop some trees. There we go. We can at least chop those. These are just birch trees, though. And uh, you only get one log per from those. But, you know, it's better than nothing. And, oh, you know what? I didn't put an order to chop down the wood out here. Let's put in, there we go. Chop that. And then let's do an order to not chop this. There we go. Cancel that. Cool. All right. Yeah, we are running out of logs, man. Got to chop these trees down. Okay, the... Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. When's the drought ending? It just ended. So watch this. The water's going to hit. Boom. And then it's got to fill up to a point. There you go. To spill over the damn walls. But now we're dammed up. We are drought protected. We are drought resistant now. We got a lot of berries up here too. Uh, I can start to farm these berries up here if I wanted to. May as well extend that right out there. Because I got four unemployed. I'm going to go ahead and turn the pumps back on because we're out of water. Once again, just had enough water, thank goodness. Turn the lumber mills back on now, even though I don't really have lumber to chop. And then let's go ahead and put down the berry flag. And you can see, there we go, berry flag right there. That little green line, by the way, that shows up, that's uh, basically saying this is in range of your district center. There will come a point where we won't be able to send our beavers to areas like, for instance, uh, let's see. This over here, these are ruins of the civilization long past. And that's where we're going to get our scrap metal. So if I wanted to get scrap metal, I'd need to have a path and then I would need to have a flag. I can't even build this yet because I don't have enough uh, science. But, for the time being, I can use one of these, the lumberjack flags. And you can see, I tried to put down a lumber flag here. There's no green line. I have to go here. There we go. That's the limit of how far my beavers will go to do work right here. So, there's a limit to how far they will go. For a minute, I thought this was going medieval. This is very different. Oh, man, I can't wait for there to be a real good meaty update to going medieval. I loved playing that game, but I quickly sort of tapped out what could be done in that game. Um, I, I, I'm really looking forward to an update for that game. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build a, a couple more houses. 
Um, gonna sort of reconfigure these paths here real quick. There we go. That That's kind of a wonky little turn there, but that's just so I can put in a couple more houses. Whoops. On this side. There we go. Get a six new hands to help. Okay, we got a fully stocked farmhouse. I'm going to take farmhouse. I'm going to switch one to full-time planting and then two to full-time harvesting. Okay, there we go. Okay, these trees are almost fully chopped. And then I, I'm going to do another forester on this side. That's what I've been doing. Massive forester on this side. And I'm going to pause one of these because I don't want them chopping. Actually, I'm going to pause both of them. Because I don't want them using all of our logs right now to make planks. Since uh, the logs right now are pretty finite. Okay. Going to... To another forester over here. So if I were to plant a forester in this area. I'll do right here. Alright. And then we can plant trees all up in this area. And get a healthy amount of lumber. Okay. And the water is quickly filling up again. Uh, we can go ahead and put in a couple jobs to do more water too, but we're going to need, let's see, seven planks and, okay, ten logs. They were almost done with the logs there, so we can use some logs here. There we go. Okay, these trees are almost all chopped down, and then after that, yeah. We can keep chopping these as they grow, but if we want more trees, we got to get up higher. Or get over here. Or just wait. Because these trees are growing pretty quick. Okay. Oh, good. The forester is actually in. Okay. I've still got these uh, wood chopping flags. And let's do a tree planting. I'm going to do more pine trees out here. And let's see. We can go all the way down to this line. So let's use that line. Perfect. Okay. And... There we go. Plant all them trees. And then all the way on this side, too. We can go all the way to this tip. Okay. Fill those in. Okay. Got a lot of trees to plant. This little beaver has its work cut out for him. Once... Wait, there's no path connected? Excuse me. Oh, wait. Oh! I, I built it one spot too far. Okay. That's why it's really important to look at these little red circles above these places if there's a problem. There we go. Late to the party, is this the recommended map layout? Um, this is the recommended map, yes. Okay, so we have room for 27. We currently have 22 little beavers. Okay, we built the extra storage here. I'm going to want to get another pump here soon. I put these on pause. I'm going to go ahead and put them back to work for now. But not that it really matters because we don't really have a lot of wood right now. We're kind of just waiting right now for these trees here to grow. They're at 82%. So in another few days, these trees will start to pop. And then we can start to chop. Once they pop, we can chop. I like it. It's catchy. And, you know, I'm going to put another one of these over here, too. Just so they can start to chop these trees as they come. These trees are never going to come back, however. So, I can have them pull these stumps. Because these trees will never regrow. Well, I don't want to say never. Eventually, I can extend the, uh, the water into that area. And then they could grow. But, yeah, know what I mean. Enchanted Tigris, thank you so much for that 39-month resub. I'm here. I was thinking about getting this game when I saw the trailer. How are you enjoying it? You know, I, I am enjoying it. Um, I got to be brutally honest, though. I, I, I don't know. Brutal is a little bit excessive, but I got to be honest. 
Um, I read a lot of reviews that were raving about this game. And while it's super enjoyable, and it's cute that it's beavers, um, it's not dissimilar from a lot of other games I've played like this. Um, I've played a lot of management sim games like this. Uh, which doesn't mean the game's not good and it's not fun, but I, I was reading reviews as though, like, this is, like, something so, like, purely unique. It's, it's not. It's not a unique game at all. Um, I've, I've played dozens of games like this. But if you've also played dozens of games like this, um, then you will probably enjoy this. If you enjoyed those games. Uh, okay. Yeah, so now it's just sort of the waiting period. Now we're waiting for trees. It's cute, but it definitely follows the genres. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would like to see a little more from it, I guess, you know. Um, and we, we may very well because it is early access. Okay, so now what we're going to need to do is get our, our gears going. These gear shops, it's going to cost 15 logs and 25 planks in order to make these. Um, I'm going to wait, though, until we have these children grow up so that we have extra people, extra beavers. Beavers are people. Extra beaver people to um, help with the work. But um, we're going to build the gears. They'll use planks to make gears, and then we can use the gears to make new and better things. Specifically, making these large water tanks. Because these large water tanks can hold 300... Whereas these can hold 30. They can hold 100 times more. Uh, they take up three spots, but they're amazing. So um, we're going to swap out all of these storages for the big storages. And that's going to be super helpful. Mecha Beaver Overdrive. Oh. Well, there is that new faction of beavers that I haven't played yet. And I would like to see other beavers. Mecha Beavers would be amazing. 